famous door in the whole castle. But not for any good reason. Look, the door was very small and narrow, which was built for one human being at a time, one African at a time. So we were ready to go for them. We go through this, and that was an end. So we are going to go through, and I will tell you more. Let me ask you a question. Were they chained up doing all this? Sometimes. Okay. It was so proved to be very difficult. Right. Those who are a little bit sober, they will go freely like that. So it depends. It depends. So let's go through and have a look. Hey. One part is here. I'm making one in a apple side. One apple side. I will any calipers. And then tell me what we have. The door return. And the door of no return. So this part is us returning. Straight to the boat. And that's it, that's it, family. Small boats take you, take us into bigger boats, and then we get to sail across the Atlantic to never return. And now we're returning. All right, let me have your attention, please. The door was very small and narrow. Hey, I'm right here. Mr. Dad, my cousin, my cousin, my cousin, my auntie, my mate. Because the door was narrow, this was a staircase that Europeans used up and down. This was called a golden staircase. And if you look at this place, there is a wall which is broken out there. That's what was built on this part of the castle by the English. They built it long into the sea. That wall was built as a boundary to separate them from the local people. So locals who owned the land before they came, they limited them to that wall. So this place was called the White Man's Beach, or Abrafumpuano. But now the wall is broken. So the local people are in charge. And this is a typical fishing community. And brothers and sisters, if you go through the narrow door of no return during a time of slave trade as a black person, one, you will lose your identity. Yes. You will lose your culture. You will lose your respect, dignity, everything. And from here, most of the captives were taken to North America, places like Jamestown in Virginia, North and South Carolina, those places. And 2019 is exactly 400 years that the first slave ship landed in Virginia, Jamestown. It was in 1619, up to 2019, 400 years. That is why this year has been turned as year of return. We are commemorating that. That's the meaning of the year of return. From here, some of them were taken to England, Liverpool. And Liverpool was then the biggest slave harbor in the whole of Europe as at that time. Some of them went to Bristol, Bahamas, Trinidad and Tobago, including Jamaica. Jamaica, when the British took it over from the Spanish in 1665. But Jamaica is a collection of Africans from different parts of Caribbean and Americas. Some of them were taken there directly. Some of them were taken directly to Jamaica from here. But others too were taken bit by bit from the Caribbean and those places because to the Europeans they were always fighting them. So to them they were difficult to control. So if you are one of those people, they will take you from wherever you are, send it to Jamaica. That's how Jamaica was founded. But those who were taken to Brazil, Brazilians passed through Elmina Castle through the hands of the Portuguese because Brazil was a Portuguese colony. Some of the Brazilians were taken from Angola, East Africa. Portuguese went to Angola. 
but if you talk about Suriname, Haiti, Dutch Guyana, Curaçao, they passed through Elmina Castle, through the hands of the Dutch. And Brazil received the largest number of slaves from Africa. Brazil got 47% of the entire slaves from Africa. And Brazil is the second largest black population in the whole world, second to Nigeria. And when Africans were crossing the Atlantic Ocean in the Middle Passage, the treatment given to them was even worse. African, they tied their hands and legs in chains and they arranged them on deck. They arranged them head to toe, toe to head. Somebody will be here, somebody here, like that. So for instance, if there are about five on a row and you are at the very bottom, those are the top. If they urinate, it will come to you. If they go to the toilet, you'll be at the receiving end. So those are the bottom. They did not simply survive the journey. The who died were taken on the ship, thrown into the sea to make the weight lighter, and then they continue. Now, when we come, we saw Dove no return. By going, we have Dove return. Dove return came 1998. There was a ceremony in Ghana called Emancipation 98. After Emancipation 98, there was another program called Great Homecoming. During that time, skeletons of two enslaved Africans called Summer Carson and Madame Christa were assumed and brought from Jamaica and New York. They brought them to Accra. Accra is where we are now. They were in two caskets. This door was open. They were taken through to go and show you the graves for a short African funeral ceremony. From there, the skeletons of the two people were taken to a nearby town called Asimansu for reburial. Mm. Have you been to Asimansu? Yes. yes. Thank you. So because the remains of the two Africans came and are with us on our soil, buried, that is why we are reading the door, the door of the It means out of the millions yes. taken away, two were brought 21 years ago. And that is telling us that at least once in our lifetime, especially Africans like you, we should come back to Ghana and go to the door of the that is what you have done today, Sunday. So I am so, so proud of you. Now we are going to return. But I'll give you about a minute or two, take some pictures after that. We will return.